Um, my dog is peeing and pooping in the house. How do I correct them for doing that? Well, do not correct your dog for using the restroom inside your home. Period. Don't do it. Never, ever, ever. Even Don't. if you catch them in the act, it's not okay to, to like let them know that, hey, that's not... You can't drop kick them, you can't spank them, you can't remote collar, high level them, you can't hit them with a newspaper, you can't stick their face in it, you can't yell at them and tell them what a horrible dog they are, you can't do any of it. Now, is there an exception? There is. Marking. Marking behaviors inside your home, please correct those. Okay. Don't use a newspaper. Use a tool that, like remote collar, your leash, Yell if that works for you. So if your dog is pooping and peeing inside your home, you don't get to correct them. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna correct yourself is really what needs to happen. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stop putting food and water on the floor for your dog. But if you say, well, hey, I've got like four cats and three other dogs, what am I supposed mm -hmm. to do? Well, quit hoarding animals is the first thing. But the second thing is, you know, yeah, quit hoarding animals. But the second thing really is, is look, you know, if you add another animal into your, li into your life, don't put all the responsibility back onto them for learning where they're supposed to go. You're going to have to take the lead. Now, I'm going to tell you, there's some dogs out there that we've trained with. Ooh, they are tough to potty train. They are challenging. But the correction never makes the habit. Anything, like when it comes to corrections, correcting any behavior, the correction will will 101 percent of the time not form the habit that you need the dog to form corrections and boundaries will never form habits period mm -hmm. the only thing that will actually form the habit of your dog actually using it outside is you putting a leash on the dog or you leading the dog outside when they need to go they use the restroom and that feels good and you also tell them how amazing they are for doing outside. And then if you multiply that by 786 times in a row, you know, whatever, whatever number that happens to be, then your dog is going to understand it. But the opportunity to use the restroom inside your home, this is really yeah. where you got to be smart about it. This is where your wireframe crate Okay, and management of the dog's food and water are gonna work wonders for you so that way the dog understands like, oh, I don't have any access here. Yeah, and then when I do get access, they're gonna put me inside of this crate. Hey, maybe I don't like it, maybe I do. But then what the human does for me is the human takes me out to the place they want me to go and then they tell me how wonderful I am. And that's absolutely what you should do with a dog. I get it, nobody wants Nobody wants the dog to poop or pee inside of their home, okay? And it is difficult. Nobody wants to have a filthy home, and I, and I get that. Let me add something else, because just one of, my, one of my clients that just graduated had a dog uh, that actually had quite a bit of excitement peeing. And, uh, and so there, like, what can you do? Well, correcting a dog for excitement peeing is a huge mistake. Yeah. You can't do that, because the dog's excited, and they, the really, control they really can't control themselves. So what you've got to do for the dog is, you know, anticipate the excitement peeing and have the leash well on the do have the leash on the dog well before the excitement peeing happens, and then 100% for sure, don't touch that dog. Mm -mm. If you if you have a dog that has excitement peeing and you're gonna go and you're gonna even think about touching, they're gonna squirt all over your floor. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just can't. They just can't help it.